Uh, it's a new cold room we've, we've just, um, I'm just commissioning. Uh, it's set to 10 degrees, I think. So we're getting there. It was about 19 when I turned it on. Nice and cool. Um, dual discharge cooler. Makes the air in the centre. Loading on both sides, so the air, air velocity is not so great. Um, dries the cheese out. Dragging it off the side. Put a coupler in there so that you can take that section out if you need to. Um, put some coating on the coil. whether that's going to be okay there, I might have to move that, we might be a bit near there. It's come down, that was on about um, 170 earlier when the room was hotter. It's up under the roof. Suction line uh, off the top. I've got a vibration eliminator in here. And, uh, clips and then through the wall onto the roof of the cold room. Pressure switches. Dryer. Crankcase heater on there. I think it's a bit noisy, but I've got the gauges hung off it on a bungee so I can get us. Putting a bit of weight on there that shouldn't be there. And we've got another one the other side, which I've got to do once we've got this one going. Got a framework. Put the bolted up there. Got two contactors and overloads. Still a bit short. Getting there, I think. 1.8 kilos, we've got 2.2 in this one. It's a slightly longer pipe one, and it's a bigger evaporator. Um, oh, yeah, there's still a few bubbles in there, so. Probably maybe 2 kilos in this one, maybe 2.2. We've got to check the pressure switch, make sure that's switching. Um, the overload works. Still around these holes, I've got the pipe through. They come around again up over onto the compressor. I'll put them there. Just over there. That's the other room. Um, set for four degrees.